What's the basic difference between a gastric bypass and a lap band is night and day. Uh, the band is a device, a medical device, uh, that has a balloon on the inside that goes right below where the esophagus meets the stomach, making a little small pre-stomach. It's not choking your stomach off or forcing you not to be able to eat. It just causes the food to pause long enough for you to feel full. Then it passes through and is digested completely normally. With a gastric bypass, we are partitioning the stomach, making a pouch that's not too dissimilar to the little pre-pouch that you get with a band. But in this case, it is hooked up directly to the part of the intestine called the jejunum which is the second part of the intestine. So it is bypassing the bottom part of the stomach and the first part of the intestine called the duodenum. When that happens, yes, there's smaller portions. There's portion control like with the band, but here we're altering some chemicals called ghrelin that make you hungry. We're altering a chemical called GLP-1 that affects glucose and insulin. It's a much more metabolically active operation. The band is adjustable. So it's attached by tubing to a little access port that lives under the skin so we can control how much or how little restriction you have because life is dynamic. Sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less depending on your external environment, stress factors, things like that. The bypass, it is what it is. Once you got it, you got it, it stays the same. Uh, it's a little more aggressive operation. In return for the more op aggressive operation, it has a little bit more predictable weight loss and maybe a greater rate of weight loss. You can argue to the cows come home which one is best, only the patient can make that decision. The band is much less invasive. It's removable, it's reversible, it's adjustable, but it's also easier to cheat. So it takes more effort on the patient's part with a band. Not that it doesn't take effort with a bypass or a sleeve gastrectomy or a D-switch or any of those things, but it definitely takes a lot more effort to be successful with your band than with a sleeve or a bypass, in my opinion.